In those homes where there's no dhikr, no salah, where there are sins and music and wrong actions, then the jinnat and the ghosts type um, creation, they descend on those homes, overtake the environment. There are two opposite things. Where you start dhikr, remember Allah, nur will come, the angels will descend, Allah's mercies will come. And where you start doing actions against sharia, there's no uh, proper separation between the uh, men and women, and their wrong actions, no parda, and sins are taking place. He doesn't know, I'm saying something wrong, I'm doing something wrong. That recognition and feeling, it's evaporated. May Allah not allow that then the person dies at that time, and what a death that person will go from Allah Ta'ala forgive about which the Quran has mentioned big other punishments are waiting for those people and it starts from death for that person and the person's life in the world is destroyed and then the hereafter is destroyed for which reason? because the person who has iman he, his iman is become impure contaminated, weak and he doesn't know that it's become weak Allah's encouragement, you don't feel like reading Qur'an, you feel uh, afraid of doing tasbih, reading Qur'an, going to the masjid, listening to good things, or someone's giving da'wah for dhikr, you feel, um, uh, you don't feel like it, and you say, oh, there's invitation to feast, uh, yeah, I'll come, tell me where. Three days in advance, we start preparing for weddings and birthday parties and food f- feasts. Look at our preparation alongside, we said, uh, what music are you going to put on? Which singers are going to come? Which band's going to come? What's going to happen there? What's on show? Yeah, no system where the women sitting, where the men sitting. So understand, even if there are a thousand people that swear by Allah, the Quran says that the iman has spoiled them. And this is happening everywhere. This is where iman has gone down, totally a waste. It's a waste. If we analyze for a few minutes the how much is this in our life halal and haram how much do we differentiate between good and bad when Allah has given the order that the work of the Muslim is what that every action you do you should do mashura with me who should you do mashura with not with Mulana Sab, not Mufti Sab, with who who should we consult with every action we do consult with Allah how do we consult with you Allah says my Quran is in front of you it's present it's there my Habib Sunnah is with you it's present it's there as guidance yes first Ahlul Dhikri Allah says if you don't understand if you don't know, go and ask a friend of Allah. Only Allah. Wali Allah. Allah says that if you want the guidance from me, that why do you want to ask me? Allah says himself, Fasalu Ahla Dhikr. Whose name is Allah Ta'ala said? Alim? Mufti Sahab? No, Allah Ta'ala has mentioned Ahlu Dhikr. Ask such an Alim scholar who also does the Dhikr of Allah in parallel at the same time. Yes. We accept our Iman is dirty. So what would we do? We finished. We don't know what is Sharia, Sunnah, what is this Amal, we hear, we come, listen to the speech in Jummah, this is Sunnah, follow it, grow the beard properly, and do this action. It looks like after we go, when we come to the next Jummah, the person should be better, but he's even dirtier than the week before. Oh, what is Mawlawi Saab saying? Oh, just mind your own business, that's what we say. We reject. If someone gives Nasiha, guy advice, we, it doesn't have any effect. So Alhamdulillah, what should we do? So what's the washing machine for Iman? We have to look for it. Allah Ta'ala has also prepared the washing machine, the cleaning agents for Iman. What well, means nothing to be scared of. Allah says, I've made clothes and I've made the skies and the earth and in the, in the environment that we live in, the clothes do get dirty. Definitely they'll get dirty. In the same way, Iman will be dirty. In this dunya, Iman will be contaminated. How can it be that we can safeguard our Iman all the time? No. It's hard. But we should have this concern that when the clothes get dirty, we put it in the washing machine. So we should have this figure as well that when our iman gets dirty, straight away, immediately put the iman into the washing machine. But we don't do that. We just stay there in the same place and let it get even dirtier. Allah says, okay, fine. It's going to get dirty. The Sahaba Ikram noble come and say, Yo, Prophet of Allah, we live in this world. How can we stay clean and sinless and pure? The Prophet said, is it possible for a man to walk on water and his feet don't get wet? What a beautiful example. The Sahaba Ikram said, no, it's not possible. So how can it be possible? Said Nabi Sallallahu that you live in the world and your iman doesn't get affected and will get weak? It will happen. So straight away we should accept that if I'm lazy in salah, don't feel like reading Quran, then consider iman is weak. Straight away put the iman into the washing machine. Straight away. And clean the iman. And as soon as you clean it, suddenly you'll become pure and clean and refreshed. Subhanallah. And the previous com- contamination impurities, like the clothes were dirty, and it came out of the washing machine and the dirty water went down the drain. Same way Allah says, your sins that were stuck to you, to your body, to your iman, in such a way I'll wash them away, they'll go down the drain. They'll be, they will disappear. Will we do this brothers? The solution? 
Okay, so then think yourself, what mistakes are you making? What, what ahkams, what does Allah you are breaking or rejecting or shunning? Then we'll realize what's the reason for this. There's no jinn or ghost or shaitan who's affecting us. Rather, we are the biggest shaitan that we have made our hearts dirty. We don't clean our hearts. That's why we don't feel like practicing. So we need to clean the heart. And how should we clean the heart? How? What's the formula? What's the method? Look, for everything, Allah Ta'ala has created a cleaning agent. There's washing machine for the clothes. Allah has announced in the Qur'an. What is the cleaning agent for iman? As soon as you do this action, or if I do this action, I'm with you, aren't I? I'm not a kutab or a ghawf sitting here. I will also implement the remedy, the solution. And what is that remedy, the solution? The subhan- That's why uh, if we do that action, straight away iman will be cleaned, purified. That's why sat here. Together gathered for the dhikr of Allah. That's the reason for the dhikr of Allah. What's the purpose of dhikr of Allah? Allah Ta'ala has mentioned to us. Allah Ta'ala has told us. One action Allah has mentioned in the Qur'an that gives a good effect on the iman. Shall I tell you what that is? Will we all do it brothers, this action? True promise, firm promise? That action Allah Ta'ala has mentioned, Allah says that, Do tawbah to me, ask me to forgive you. Repent to me, Allah Ta'ala says. True sincere repentance. That's the washing machine that washes iman. What is it? Tawbah. The act of repentance. So this is what I um, recited. وَاسْتَغْفَرُوا رَبَّكُمْ ثُمَّ تُوبُوا إِلَيْهِ إِنَّ رَبِّي رَحِيمُ وَدُودِ SubhanAllah. Allah says that your iman, if it is dirty, do not worry that for example, you have not prayed salah regularly, you've left so many salahs, you've done bad actions, your face is not the correct, your libas is not correct, you are drowned in sins, all your actions are disobedience actions. So what you do? I'll tell you the washing machine. What is that? وَاسْتَغْفَرُوا رَبَّكُمْ That ask your Rabb for forgiveness. Ask your Creator for forgiveness. Now here a beautiful point arises. 